So now you can see uh, the price is just doing retracement. That means when price is running in the uptrend, so that means the price is not running continuously toward upside or toward downside. And in between, they are giving a retracement again, price creating new high, right? And they're forming a resistance, right? And next, again, price just push down, or you, uh, you people call to retracement, and price is again pushing up, right? Now you can see here was a resistance line around 4167, uh, right? So after that, price just pushing down. So when price is pushing down, so we have to find out the support. Now you can see I place a support around 4024 because here was the moving average, right? 200 moving average, which is uh, placing a strong support right now. And another confirmation, let me show you another confirmation uh, why I'm placing there. And you can see this is a Fibonacci. So you can see this is a Fibonacci. I just connect uh, in this area, right? Now you can see here, this is a A point according to Fibonacci. And this is a B point, right? So this is a B point and we are looking for where is the C? We are looking for where is the C point, right? Where is the C point? So for find out the C point, we just connect that Fibonacci and moving average. So here we can see price just retrace this area and another first retracement we have seen here, uh, it is uh, showing 69. If you wanna reverse it, it will be 38% retracement. After that, you can see here is a 50% retracement, right? So in 50%, we have seen some moving average are there, especially 200 exponential moving average. So here is confirming a strong support line in this area. So that is why we are probably to market retrace the level of 50% and price will be around 4024. So this is a strong support, right? So it is a high probability to retrace this market up to this area. When market will, uh, will uh, reach that area or hit this area, so we will be looking for buy above this area. We are we will looking for buy in this area. And at that time, we will looking for here candlestick pattern or moving average crossover, whatever you want, right? So this, this will be our buy entry. So let me check if you people are able to hear me or not. No audio sound. Okay. Okay, let me check it. Why sound is showing sound problem. So. Okay, are we able to hear me now? Are we able to hear me now? No? Okay. Okay, good. Because some issue is going on. Some people are able to hear me and some are uh, technical issues. Because so uh, another thing I want to tell you, so uh, every Tuesday from 11 to 12, I'll be live in YouTube. Uh, so you just, uh, I think uh, you already subscribe our YouTube channel, right? So if you have YouTube channel, subscribe to the YouTube channel every Tuesday. Uh, during market time. So NSC, BSC, uh, sorry, MCX, uh, equity, option, whatever, or Forex, you can ask me directly. So I'll be live in YouTube. And every Monday to Friday, I'm live PM to 8 PM. The Saturday, Saturday make a webinar, uh, sorry, 
So every Saturday we are conducting webinar regarding trading strategy. So right now uh, in this video, I'm not talking about the trading strategies. So I'm just analyzing the market, right? So every Saturday first, uh, I think first this Saturday, we already uh, discussed about that one. How to find out that trend, right? So next Saturday, I'll going to conduct another webinar, how to trade with the Fibonacci. So here you can see I placed Fibonacci, right? So if you want to know more details, say you just visit to our allies blue. So I already wrote here. Um, okay, I'll tell you market talk, sorry. Uh, it will be here also. Uh, and uh, you can see this is a morning talk. So what happened in fundamentally, so you can read properly here so i am posting every day right so next you uh, next webinar we are going to conduct here uh the series of fibonacci so you people are able to uh understand what fibonacci all right everything uh fibonacci basic understanding fibonacci retracement model of uh, up Dek sakta ye jo maine bola ye market retrace kya hua hai, right? Ye market retrace kar raha hai. To market kahan tak retrace kar sakta hai? To is uska upar ham baat karenge. Wo jo retracement hai, right? Next, uh, you can see here Fibonacci projection. Projection kya hota hai? To market ham kahan tak ja sakta hai? Agar isko break kar diya, to market kahan tak ja sakta hai? First projection 120. Uh, 3% second position on 138 exactly you can see this is a resistance line right this is a strong resistance right so we are projecting the market will uh, reach that area right so that is called projection third you can uh, see uh, fibonacci convergence fibonacci trading breakout case breakout trading strategy use kiya jata hai fibonacci entry point kaha pe hum entry karenge fibonacci deke Fibonacci and moving average combination trading, Fibonacci and trend line breakout, Fibonacci William percentage strategy, Fibonacci and range trading. So everything will uh, cover in next webinar. So that is why you just uh, subscribe our YouTube channel and we're gonna discuss whole details. That every Saturday that uh, webinar are totally education based, right? So we are providing free technical uh education right uh in technical education i i think uh, that course is very costly right some people are taking for uh three to four months uh, one or two lakhs according to their uh syllabus right so we are providing fully free right we are not taking any charge okay let's see now could i what is our entry point? So we have seen this is a strong resistance, oh sorry, support, and this is resistant and next target, right? Let me remove uh, this Fibonacci. So we confirm, right? Why I wanna remove this Fibonacci? We confirm here it's a 50 moving ever, sorry, 50 percent retracement of Fibonacci uh, in this area around 4,024, uh, uh, right? So. We are looking for buy in this area, right? Let me show you. And uh, let me remove this Fibonacci. Right. Now you can see here, this is a four hour, right? So what is your trading strategy, right? For trading strategy, uh, let me tell you. above this supporting line i will start buying i'm looking for buy entry and if price break this level again and when they'll retrace to retest this area when i'll get a confirmation here so i'll start again buy here right if if i see here any sell confirmation so start selling from this area so that is why here is the resistance i'll take by above this resistance line right for the sell i'm looking for a sell confirmation below this resistance remember below and above okay 
so this uh, this was four hour chart and then let's see in a small time frame like 15 right you always remember the point right our entry point and exit point now you can see 4100 our exit point and here 4024 is the entry point above remember above and below right we'll trade in this range only right now let's see in a small time frame 15 minutes so we confirm, right? We confirm that our uh, our entry and exit point. Now it should look like that. Have you seen? Now most of the people are confusing here what to do, right? So we have seen this is the range, right? Let me a little more. Yeah. So we have seen the range, right? And the market is running. Market small time frame market behavior is running like that, right? L running like that. Running like that. So have you seen? So who people are thinking they will break this level and hit this area. But here you can see if you want to connect uh, trend channel or price channel, you can say like the price channel or trend channel. I want to connect the most touches area. Remember most touches area, not only single point, right? So here you can see this was touches area. This was touches area. Here you can see this is touches area, right? Touch area. But here you can see this was a little more breakout, but here was this area, here was this area. So who people are start buying, so they must close their position here because price is running in a channel, right? Let me draw the channel. I can see this will be our trend channel. Have you seen some, uh, this is the effect breakout, right? So we have seen now, Price is running in this trend channel. So we are projecting the market will reach that area, right? If they break this area, don't think the price will, the rally will continue. But here was, here is a resistance line, which is strong resistance, right? Why I'm placing this one? You can see this is a Fibonacci extension of 138 percent. 138 uh, percent point point something point six this was and if you see here this area remember 4167 is a uh, previously that was a support and resistance let me show you then you will be con uh, you will be clarified right so if you want to see four hour have you seen this was uh previous resistance 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 and the resistance that is why I drawn here 1467 is a strong resistance. If you want to enter by start by above this resistance, not below. Remember, and if you want to connect Fibonacci, right? Let me connect so you'll confirm that a point here. This is a lower point, right? And this is a B point. And if you see here, D point, we need a C point and we need. D point. Where is D point? So that is why let me show you a Fibonacci extension, right? So I want to connect B point and A point. I want to connect B point and A point. You can see the Fibonacci extension is exactly reached that 138 percent here, which was previously becoming a resistant, right? Oh, sorry here 100 percent and this is the next 138 percent right so we have to close in 100 percent right are you clear now let's check it in small time frame for our anti and exit point okay let me remove this one so now you can see this is our 15 point we place here right this is resistance line so do you have any query audio is not coming Okay, audio, some people, audio problem, I don't know, uh, some, are you able to hear me some, or audio is totally, uh, let me check it once again, why audio is, uh, okay, no audio, okay. Why no audio, audio, audio? audio 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 are you able to hear me or not mm. 
Yeah, some people are able to hear me, some people are not able to hear me, some audio. We have to check with our team. Okay, able to hear you. Some uh, who people are, okay. So now you can see this is our small time frame, right? Uh, for 15 minutes, especially I use 15 minutes for my uh, entry and exit. Uh, for entry and exit. So in a small time frame, still price is running in a down frame, right? Remember, in a small time frame, still price is running in a down trend because still running below 200 moving average, right? This is a 200 moving average. Uh, the 50 moving average still below 150 moving average, right? So it's confirming a down trend, right? So if price not the able to break this level so we are expecting they will reach that uh, level of fibonacci 50 percent right so when we will get opportunity in this area for the buy according to your candlestick pattern whatever you are using trading strategy some people are using a uh, super 10 it's okay some people are using a uh, vuf it's okay uh, so at that time when you get the buy signal above this supporting line you can go for buy and the target will be here and if you are getting any sell signal below this area according to your super and whatever so you start selling and target will be here like that remember so in between this area no need to trade so yesterday i told you can go for a short when price will break two to three confirmation right and here was my first buy entry so yesterday i already told you here was my target and i closed my position and when they break this level so i start selling and somewhere 20 point i just two can come out from the market this market is a, is in uptrend is a large time frame and they are doing a retracement right in a large time frame market is an uptrend and in a short time period they, they are giving a retracement so when you want to enter uh in an uptrend uh when you want to enter for buy during the uptrend, it's a counter trading, it's a highly risk. If you are getting any profit and come out from the market, right? So let's check it uh, in a small time frame. Some people are using super 10 to let me remove this one. So I want to enter super 10 here, right? Super 10. I think I had already super 10 here. Most of the people are using super tent. I think I, I removed this super tent. Here is no super tent. Uh, no, I don't have super tent because I never use any indicator mostly. And I'm just using this uh, fully. I'm analyzing the market. I'm looking for an entry and exit point like that. Here you can see this is our source raised in level. A support level now market is running in this range right somewhere here 50 percent also will be like that so this is our range trading race in a small uh in a four hours are right so do you have any query you can ask me any question any market not only crude oil you can ask me if you have any query regarding crude oil regarding any question you can ask me so i can uh, i can discuss with you अब कोई भी क्वेश्चन मेरे से पूछ सकता है और एक बात है मैं नेक्स्ट मुंबई थर्ड अगस्त को मैं मुंबई में जा रहा हूं वहां पे सेमिनार है अगर मुंबई से कोई है तो सेमिनार में अटेंड कर सकता है मेरे से डायरेक्ट बात कर सकता है राइट देयर इज फ्री ऑफ कॉस्ट कंपनी आर प्रोवाइडिंग दे आर नॉट टेकिंग एनी शेयर्स फ्रॉम यू मो सम बिकॉज़ देयर इज अ गुड अपॉर्चुनिटी बिकॉज़ अगर कोई भी इंडिकेटर आप सीखने जाएंगे तो वहां पे कम से कम एक आदमी का कम से कम फोर आवर में फोर फिफ्टीन टू ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड ले लेता है तो कंपनी आर प्रोवाइडिंग एवरीथिंग नो नीड टू पी और पे वन रुपीस सो यू कैन कम एंड यू कैन जॉइन विथ अस राइट सो डू यू हैव एन क्वेरी सो यू कैन आस्क मी एनी क्वेश्चन नॉट ओनली क्रूड यू कैन आस्क मी गोल्ड जिंक लीड ओके मोस्ट ऑफ द पीपल आर आस्किंग मी is it time to enter buy in gold so this is a very dangerous point right now in gold now you can see this is a grow gold okay 
So people are thinking they're creating higher high and higher low. Is it time to buy? By seeing this one, it look like uh, you can go for buy, right? Some moving average they're bouncing from this area. So let me use one moving average here. Okay, MSCT. Okay, uh, let me use hundred or let me use uh, make it 50 50 20 whatever mm, 50 okay now price is running like that and bouncing moving average and following this one uh, people are mostly thinking they will go up continue right the price will continue but if you want to see in a large time um, in a weekly let me show you what is that this is an all-time high. That means it's a strong resistance, right? And below this resistance, never take any buy. And you can see when price too far from moving average. Have you seen the price is too far from moving average? Have you seen price is smash, smash back, right? And you can see too far smash back, too far smash back, too far smash back. Right now you can see price is too far right who people are thinking it will go smash back toward this moving average so that is why you you want to invest in the gold for the long term one one more two but don't do that because price is over both zone it's called a rubber event theory price just it is a rover and pull up smash right so it you can see this is pull up smash toward this one pull up smash right so stay away from this one right if you are looking for uh for sell so you can sell it but you just wait a perfect confirmation right in uh, gold no audio are we able to hear me or not Okay, do you have any query? So if you don't have query, so I can quit. Do you have any query? So I hope you uh, people are able to understand what we discussed right so if you have any query you can leave a message to me so if you have any doubt if you wanna know um, about the indicators just leave a message to me so No. Oh dear. If you have any position, so you can discuss with me clearly. Right. So your entry point and exit point. I told you for entering this market, you just wait to this area. If you are getting any buy signal in this area, so start buying from this area. Right. Remember. Price in uptrend and now doing a retracement. Include how to set inventory. It is uh, yeah, good question. Uh, I think uh, you can visit to our Alice Blue page, so you can you will find here also. All right, so I'll tell you two options. Uh, okay or inventory every Thursday, right? Uh, okay. You just visit to analyze and morning to, uh, market talk and here will be uh, available economic calendar here is a two option one is 
Indian market and another global market. If you want to go for global market, you will find international event. And Indian, you will go through Indian market. So here you will find, uh, this is today, today, Monday, okay, today, Tuesday, 16. And you just call here, crude oil inventory, uh, you will find here. Right, every news as Wednesday and Thursday. We need Thursday, right? So crude oil. Everything crude oil uh, result you'll find here, but inventory is a Thursday, right? You'll find here. Crude oil. Well, inventory you will find your Thursday somewhere here will be FOMC or another thing you can visit to another web page and if you are not able to understand then you can just visit to Forex Factory Forex Factory right Forex Factory you just visit there and there will be a forex calendar will be here and you can see this is tuesday and if you wanna see and click here more all calendar will be displayed here and okay, sorry okay and this is uh, july 16 and you click more and this is wednesday we need Thursday, <clears throat> crude oil inventory here you'll be see 8 p.m. crude oil inventory, right? And then next you can see crude oil. Every news you'll be find uh, natural gas storage. So here we'll find that uh, which was uh, more like a red or symbol, right? This is high impact, right? Rest of the little more less impact, and. Uh, one thing I want to tell you, uh, during the news time, you just stay away from the market. Because at that time, uh, for half an hour, uh, they are not following any indicator. Market are creating, uh, doing spike, right? So you stay away from uh, during news time, right? Okay. Crude oil buy or sell? What is the position? Okay, for crude oil, you can see I'm giving entry and exit point, right? You can see this is the range. Range, have you seen? This is the range. So let me show you. Okay. Now you can see this is our range for entry and exit range. So I'm telling. This is the supporting line, right? 4,024. If market reach this area, remember why I'm telling market now doing a retracement. And here is a, okay, let me change the color. Okay. Here is a, okay, color also. It is also same. Let me change the color. Here is a resistance line, oh, sorry, supporting line, right? This is a supporting line. Now you can see this supporting line is this supporting line, right? Now market is in uptrend and doing retracement. So we have seen this is a supporting line. So when we we'll see above this supporting line, some bullish signal according to your candlestick pattern, according to your uh, Trading strategy, whatever you are using, moving average, cross, uh, bounce back, whatever. So if you wanna, if you if you find here some bullish signal, so start buying in this area and keep your first target here. That means here around 4016, and next target will be. You can see this is next resistance around 4278, uh, right? If 
price not able to reach this area. Suppose price uh, now uh, this is the resistance line and price gone up a little more doing here right now. Right now, this point is suppose this point, right? If price not able to reach this area, okay, price not able to reach this area, if they break this higher point, this is the higher point, have you seen? That means this line, right? So if they break this level, so you can go for buy above this resistance like if they are failed to reach this area and price continue towards upside if they break this area, right? So we'll start buying from above this area. This will be our entry point and our target will be here, right? We have seen two entry point. First, this is our entry point, right? This is entry, entry point. And next, here is our entry point, right? Two entry point for the buy, not sell. For the sell, they must break this 4,200. Below this area, we'll start selling, not in this range. In this range, we have seen two buy entry. One buy entry here above this supporting line, next above this resistance line. Have you got it, what I'm talking? So, right, don't enter blindly anywhere. Always wait for opportunities right and if you want to enter here keep your sl according to your uh, money management and you can use if you are not able to find this supporting line or sl you can use atr right so i think uh, in my previous video i told how to use atr okay so and any question So, Mr. Yas, not able to hear, right? Okay, do you have any query? Okay, if you have any questions, so you can ask me. Some audio, I think some audio problem. Uh, Use a uh, secure settings, right? We can secure settings and then uh, because because some people are able to hear me. I think from my side, audio is okay. Uh, otherwise, all people are not able to hear me. Um, I'm checking every time, but all audio is very perfectly working. Okay. Everything is okay. Okay. So do you have any queries? So you leave a message or if you don't, if don't, you don't have any queries, so can I quit? So if you have any queries, so you can ask me. Definitely I'll discuss with you. Or any skiff you wanna know, zinc, lead, crude, whatever. Right, so you can see this is a crude oil, it's running, boom. Right, crude oil is running like that. 
this was becoming a supporter retrace price boom retrace near 200 price price boom so what is your target for the crude oil for crude oh, sorry for in zinc right so let me check it in a large time frame because in a small time frame we never find that one so you can see daily they are running in a range so i think this range i given uh week ago one week or two week ago this was uh, raised uh, support line 190 so exactly the hit now price is bouncing from this area right so in four hour you can see price is just near this resistance line have you seen this one that is why i want to draw here a resistance line that means uh, let me show you a little more. Yeah. So that means if you have any buy position in seeing, so our target will be here around 196. So we have to close our position in this area. So because Jing is creating lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low, and lower high. So this is a resistance line. So we have to close our position. So if you want to see in a small time frame, so in 15 minutes so have you seen this is our resistance right we are looking for like that now you can see here like that moving over response moving over response like that and we will close our position here right this is a resistance line around 196 this is a zinc right so do you have any query so you can ask me if you have any query okay i'm um, swiss is the best trading platform mt4 or any else because uh, i'm not able to hear. okay mr um Mullis. okay i especially use mt4 metadata 4 and uh, i hope metadata 4 is uh, be uh, best for me because last 10 years i'm using metadata for mt4 right and mt4 that data is very clear and we can uh, we can we can use auto algo uh, trading also and we can create our own trading uh, indicator so some indicator i made it i think here are or not i don't know some indicator i made it with my naming but i don't think so yeah i remove that indicator right so if you are expert in coding, so you can create uh, on a trading strategy, right? You can create own indicator, right? And here you can see Mr. Uh, Raju, uh, whatever silver, let me check it silver, right? Okay, we're gone. You see? Okay. I'm keeping here. Okay, it will be good. Silver, right? So MT4, we can use everything here, and this is silver. So now you can see silver just price gone up. I think 15 or one half an hour ago. Sorry, right, half an hour ago. So if price is running like that, we have to find out their resistance and anti point. So let's see in a small, uh, large time frame like daily now we are looking for more passes area passes point previously so here you can see we have seen some passes area one task twice third right here was some uh, support and this was a resistance right so that is why i wanna connect horizontal line as a resistance have you seen i connect as a horizontal line uh, as a resistance right so next you can see another resistance we have seen here let me connect okay and okay here right and now you can see i want to connect another resistance line here this is a higher point and 
somewhere here like that so it's okay if they break no need to put this one so we have seen this is a resistance line have you seen this is a resistance line now you can see uh, in a small time frame like is it resistant uh, strong resistant or uh, another we can put the resistance so that is why we are going to use here uh, impulsive wave or or sorry uh, fibonacci extension right so let me show you first then you will confirm here you can see price was running like that lower low lower high lower low lower high lower low lower high have you seen so after that price just from form like that have you seen right now you can see if you calculate this point is a a and it will be b and here will be c c let so first how to analyze the market i am telling so i want to connect a and b so you can see i just connect a and b a, a point and b point have you seen a point and b point when i connect a point and b point so let me remove this one then you'll clear it. right i just connect this is a a point and this is a b point and you can see this is a retracement of 61 percent and extends on you can see 161 all right first extension so this was a point b point c point now again price retrace so that is why i want to add uh, this uh, fibonacci this will be a b point right so i want to connect this point right have you seen that means it was a a point right it is a b point and this was a c point right then we have seen this is a d point right and you can see this is a e point so right manually we are going now you can see the extension of 138 percent right this is our f and another 161 let me draw another horizontal line as a resistance all right have you seen i just connect this area so when i connect 161 percent then what happened here you can see this was a resistance right here was a resistance so automatically they uh, form a resistance line so we'll trade in this range right so next we want to connect another supporting line right so supporting line i want to connect this 100 percent and acting as a support right now and let me remove all thing now it's now it's clear have you seen this is clear so we have seen our trading range right now market is running in an uptrend they're creating higher high and higher low they're getting higher high higher low higher high higher low higher high and we need the higher point higher low point right so we are we have seen if market retrace from this area so this will be our uh, retracement level that that is a support point so our entry point for the buy here this is our buy point when market will retrace and looking for sell here for counter trade if we are getting any sell opportunity below this resistance line remember below this resistance line not above if they break this next target will be here so now you can see here in a small time frame like uh, first let me check it four hour now four hour you can see market is just uh, bouncing from moving average 20 have you seen this is called bouncing trading strategy have you seen bounce 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 and uh, looking for 20 moving average so when market will reach the 20 moving average start buying again right this will be a retracement in a four hour so we have seen for our retracement similarly they are forming a supporting line in right remember let me show you the point retracement point yeah 38956 that is the uh, supporting line when we will get the opportunity in this area for the buy we will start buying from this area remember right this is a four hour start let's check in small time frame like 15 minutes so now you can see this is our 15 minute time frame the price is just 
uh, near this resistance line, right? So if price break this level, right? For the same time buy, have you seen this higher point? When price, if price will retrace and again break this the higher point, not now. If the break this higher point, if the break this higher point, we'll start buying from this area, not selling below. Uh, above, above this resistance line, we never take any sell. We'll start buying above this area. So when they'll break this area, we'll buy, and our target will be next three nine seven six zero, right? That will be our uh, target, right? It will be our tech profit. And if you add here for the buy, you can keep your asset just below and uh, your trading ratio will be one is to one, right? This is your entry point, SL just here, lower point or here, and the target will be here, right? So you, this is the silver. And if, remember, if they are not able to break this higher point and they are confirming any sell signal, you can sell here but you close your position as possible as because don't go uh, against the trend. Trend is right now in uptrend, right? Remember, when price in the uptrend, we'll take only buy, but here is a resistance line. So we are looking for a small sell, right? Small sell when price will retrace near, moving average, whom moving average following, yellow color is called 50 moving average. So you can see, Price retest, price just break, retest 50 moving average, create higher, retest to 50 moving average, gone up, retest 50 moving average, gone up. And looking for if you want to sell here, if you are getting any good selling opportunity, remember, and 50 moving average will be here and close your position, you can add here, buy again in silver, remember. Right, and uh, now I can see, do you have any query regarding any skip other any script today inventory uh, position which side we expect thank you okay uh today inventory let me check it inventory what they are confirming because mostly i using technical and the inventory you can see here let me uh, show you okay okay Okay, okay, we can go for X factory. For X factory, I can go for for X factory. Inventory result uh, are coming, I think, around 8 p.m. So here you can see it today. No, today, uh, today is Tuesday, right? So we don't have inventory results. So tomorrow our result, right? every uh, wednesday inventory result are there here you can see this is the inventory result around indian market 8 pm not today tomorrow 8 pm in indian time right crude oil inventories right so it's just showing here this is um, it's just showing minus right so if you want to read more about that one you just click here i'll explain right you just click here or all right there is it is no need to do uh close here okay i'm gonna close it you just click in this box and everything will be appear here right so you'll find everything details about the uh, inventory right if us are telling us that they will reserve more than uh, crude oil then definitely the price will go high if they are telling that they are not going to reserve the oil. So demand will be low, right? When demand will be low, supply will be low, right? So then price will be decrease. So this is a small summary, right? So next video, I'll create how to trade with, uh, with fundamental analysis. So in that video, I'll definitely I'll explain everything, okay? So do you have any query so you can ask me? Right, if you have any query so you can ask me. Let's have a nifty view, okay. Nifty view, uh, Mr. 
অসুখ অসুখ সো ফর অপশন অর ফর ইন্টারডে So first time you can see Nifty is uh, running in an uptrend, but uh, here you can see a little more some uh, bearish pattern are forming. Right here you can see some bearish pattern are forming here, right? So one thing you remember, price was creating, uh, here you can see higher high, higher low, higher high, like that, right? higher high higher high like that so now you can see the nifty is fail to create new high have you seen and they're creating higher low right so now people are thinking it will go up but yeah definitely it may go up but at what level so that is why you can see nifty is running in a uptrend but they're creating according to price action method they're creating higher low lower low and higher low right that is why i want to connect trends price action uh, trend channel have you seen this one trend channel right now price is running like that and now i want to connect this higher point and I connect this higher point more process area right <coughs> sorry now we have seen this is a resistance line if price goes this level around 11,800 close your position have you seen this is a strong support resistant 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 and resistant price just running like that running like that at the running like that this was a supporting point right and the price is running in this channel and the next you can see this is a resistance line you close your position in this area this is a strong uh, resistance and if again they break this level so you can add your buy and again start buying from above this level not below because from this area it's a high probability to retrace toward 200 moving average right 200 moving average is here right so now you can see we have seen uh, a resistance level right now let let me show you the supporting point so let me draw supporting point uh, here was a supporting point right and there 200 moving average will be there why i'm putting there here you can see uh, this was previous broke support right price just uh, fell here and become a support and push down and after that break we have seen two supporting point and the third you can see this was a support right here it was broke price just trying fell and it was a resistance and now you can see this is a 200 moving average near 11,300 have you seen 11,300 this is our uh, supporting point so if you want to trade so you must trade in this range only in this range uh, between 11,300 and 11,800. If you have any buy position, you can close around 11,800 in this level, right? And if price comes near in this area, then close your position and start buying above this area, right? Now, let's see in small time frame. Uh, this will be, uh, we have seen this one range, right? We confirm our range right now. Now you can see this is our range. Uh, trading range. Have you seen? Right now, market is in middle of in this range, almost the right. Now, have you seen the price is creating uh, higher high and higher low, right? Higher high, higher low. But when they are running it like this, the volume is and the momentum is very low. They might go like that, like that, like that, like that. Here, yeah, market crash from this area. So that is why it close. In this area here was a strong resistance remember right now if you want to trade nifty for the small profit let me show you the range so i want to connect okay so let me show first i want to connect this is a higher point higher point 
and the higher three consequence uh, consequence higher point and i want to connect lower point and the lower point let me show you okay so now uh, i want to connect this higher point have you seen and connect point i just connect three higher point have you seen and now i want to connect this lower point i just connected that means nifty is running in this range only now nifty is running in this range only right if you want to trade so you just trade like that nifty will retrace toward this level add here for buy and close your position in this area here buy close your position after all you can close your position here and once the break remember the price will fell near 11300 if they break this if they break this support have you seen this is support once they break this support so next target will be here right if they break this level you can add buying here and close here for 100 uh, point in 100 point right so it's trading range will be here like that right so anything query if you have any query you can ask me so i think mr osuk you able to understand nifty or empty point and exit point right and the point and exit point you just uh, um, arrange this uh, setup right and find out your empty point like that if price comes you add buying here buy here keep your sl just below and target will be here it is target and this is entry and just below stop loss right so it's trading strategy if the break this level you can add right you can buy here if the break this level right and close it will be empty and target will be here it will be your target remember okay next uh, any question okay us inr okay need to view please us inr so us inr okay i already add or not i just use cross currency us inr us inr Yes, the INR. This is US the INR. They are running like that. US the INR, right? So let's check daily prices continuously failing. It is better to sell because Indian. That means Indian um, currency is becoming a strong, right? So I hope it will be more strong because uh, there was a big uh, trade war between US and China. so their dollar are becoming a weak so when dollar will be weak so our currency will be fell like that but people are thinking uh, this is uh, going in opposite direction uh, exactly what i mean that means we no need to pay more uh, money in a dollar right so if price goes up like this area that means we have to pay for example 75 rupees for 1 dollar right now you can see our price is just decreasing now right, uh, right now it is showing 80 68 right it is better to enter sell direction and any query i am not indian right if you have any query you can ask me without any hesitation now food is running inside have you seen this one always find your anti point don't enter uh blindly and don't buy too much lot and always do money management 